this candle, I will light your way in darkness. With this ring, I was a bride. I ask you I to be mine. Unbelievable. Check out this animation at Spirits. I didn't see this the last time I was here. This is pretty incredible. When you look at this, that looks like something you would see in a Disney dark ride, the way that it's done. Not the body, not the costume, but the face. Look at that. So we're doing another uh, Spirits Halloween video because I didn't even see this last time. They didn't have it set up and now they do. I have to say, that is pretty amazing. And it's $600 for the pair. So I notice a lot more see, uh, animations this year. I mean, at this Spirits than I saw last time. So let's walk around and see all these bad boys. And by the way, it's like tradition that my phone rings while I'm making a video. So that wasn't there before. And then they got this fun house of terror. And so it's just like, I don't know what it is exactly. Some two-way mirror stuff. And I think we saw this last time. Although it's not going off. The lollipop looks nice. It's $300. It's not doing what it's supposed to. But you have to remember, when you go here to Spirit, people are setting these little things off like 9,000 times a day. That spider looks like it's from Lord of the Rings, honestly. It's like a complete direct ripoff of Lord of the Rings. But it's pretty cool. It's $269. You can blow a lot of money really fast here at Spirits, I'll tell you that. Now, they, I think they had this the last time I was here. If you ask me, it's pretty goofy. Like, makes no sense at all. Here we go. Pretty much a dud, if you ask me. And then they didn't have this the last time I was here either. Terrifier. He's honking a horn. <laughs> you know what's amazing about this Terrifier? Is it's not even close, film-wise, to Leatherface or... Michael Myers or any of those movies and yet it's being licensed at a level I don't think anybody's ever seen before now this is a, another animation that is not doing anything hold on let's try again now okay wait is that thing doing something no we got this angel. I don't think I saw this last time either. Oh man, that is scary. I'm not gonna lie, I jumped. I absolutely jumped. Uh, I was not expecting that. And here is, I've already seen this before. You know what's different about this one? The last one I saw, the knife was pointing up. So as like, it wouldn't stab somebody and hit somebody with the knife. But this one's pointed down. There's the Spirit logo. And then here's the Ringmaster. It's $329. I don't think. By the way, if you haven't heard, Car Carnival is a video game. I don't know, I don't think it's that cool. Um, not for $329. Here's a scarecrow. What is 
he do? Don't tell me he's going to jump at me. Right now, all he's doing is laughing. Okay. I would say that's uneventful. Um, but anyway, so we did get to see a handful of new animations. And look at this. Terrifier slippers. Look at that. That is freaking incredible. And there's a little Terrifier doll. You got Terrifier, terrifier t-shirts, hoodies, art, uh, crispies, the cereal. There's his costume. And you know what? When we're talking about politically correct, there is nothing politically correct about Art the Clown. He might be like, you know, Freddy Krueger. He takes the cake. Like, it's not even, in the, he's not even in the ballpark. And here's Adam's family. He doesn't even take the cake. And you got a whole section here devoted to Scream. And that's pretty cool. But what I mean by Terrifier is these movies are... They border on rated X, when you really think about it. And I don't mean X is in pornographic. But in the old days, they used to have a rating X for stuff that was too graphic. And when you think about the way Terrifier murders people, I mean, like, I think in 1980, it would have gotten that X rating. I don't know. There's horror movies that have gotten X ratings, and they had to trim stuff out to get it down to an R. And look, they got fog. I'm trying to see if there's something I missed from the last time I was here. Now, I will say that those Corpses Bride animations are pretty cool. They would rank right behind the Frankenstein for me. The Frankenstein still would be the coolest, the one at Home Depot. But you know, look at this. When we, we did the video of Johnny Brock's and see all this openness. Johnny Brock's is 30,000 square feet. And you can't, there, you can't move in there, not because there's a ton of people, but there is a ton of people I hear on the weekends. Like I hear it's like a madhouse in there. But you can't move in there, not because of people, but because there's not a single inch to move in there where there's not product being displayed. So when you try to compare spirits and Johnny Brock's that we went and visited, it's not even a comparison. So like if I was looking for a Halloween costume, I would go to uh, Johnny Brock's first. They have a bigger selection, they have more stuff. But you know what they don't have? They don't have these animations that Spirits has. And also, Spirits also has a lot of stuff that is Spirit only. Like when you look at this, that's pretty clever that they're selling DC adapters for your animation repairs. So that's interesting. But Spirits has a lot of stuff that Johnny Brox won't have because they have their own line of stuff and they have their own licenses, which no one else can have but them. So Johnny Brox would not be allowed to have that stuff. So of course I would go to both places. I'm just saying, if I was trying to determine whether or not, uh, look at that, welcome, we've been expecting you. That's pretty cool. Uh, if I was trying to find a Halloween costume, I would go to Johnny Brox because they have more costumes to choose from, by far. Now another thing you could do is you could just go to both. You can go to Johnny Brock's, you can go to Spirits, and then you can kind of sort of figure out which one is better for you. Look at this, an operation game, Nightmare Before Christmas. Very cute. And there's Beetlejuice. You know, I have a question for everybody. Now, don't, and by the way, I want to remind everybody that if you watch, if you go to scarefest.fearticket.com, now I love Mars Attacks. The movie was kind of corny, but I thought it was okay. But look at this, I didn't see this. Friday the 13th, Chucky, Freddy, Planters. That's very cool. They think of everything now to put a license on for Halloween. Uh, but anyway, what I was saying was, uh, if you go to scarefest.fearticket.com, you can get your tickets 
for the darkness creepy world and lamp haunted house in the month of september plus friday the 13th no uh friday the 13th for selected days any day the darkness is open between friday the 13th and november the 4th which by the way no october the 4th which is in october obviously it's october the 4th it's a friday any of those days is only twenty dollars and they're limited to the first 800 tickets sold the first 800 tickets sold per night so in other words if you're going to come on we're going to sell more than 800 tickets if people buy them but the the discounted price is only the first 800 so for example when creepy world opens september the 27th and 28th there will only be 800 tickets for each night at 1999. does that make sense hopefully it does now michael myers is huge license and i actually think the bigger license right now is bigger than michael myers is scream I don't know why people love that so much, but they do. I'm not a big fan. Of all the slasher movies, leave a comment. Tell me which one's your favorite. But anyway, that's going to wrap up our video here at Spirits, our second trip through, where they've got the majority of their animations out now. Oh, and here's one we missed. We missed this one. A spider. Is he going to jump or what? Now, if you come to the Darkness Haunted House, looks like he's not working. And we also didn't activate this bear. I mean, it's kind of lame, if you ask me. If I had a home haunt, I would not buy that. I would not buy that spider. I would get this, though. I probably would get this, also. That's really cool. And there he goes. There he goes again. But anyway... The Darkness has 160 animatronics, along with live actors and everything else. And you can come and take a visit. And uh, we look forward to seeing you and get those discounted tickets while they last. Just to reiterate what I was saying, so I'm very clear, is on the days that we're having this slasher price, it is only from the days that each haunt is open from September the 13th through October the 4th, which is a Friday. Those are the only days that those discounted prices will be available. But you know what's really fun is to come here to Spencer's, Spirits, go to Home Depot, go to Johnny Brock's Dungeon, and go to all the haunted houses, of course. And there's Poison Ivy. All right, folks, I will see you soon uh, at the darkness, creepy world, and the lamp haunted house. Halloween is here and starting tomorrow, Friday the 13th, depending on when you see this video, our haunted houses will be open and Halloween will officially have begun. Now look at this. Here's an animation they do not have on display. And that's pretty disgusting. He's called the buzzsaw. It says body pivots left and right, buzzsaw spins, LED light ups, and, and his mouth moves. It says creepy phrases, and he's six feet tall. That is an animation they do not have on display. And here's another one they don't have on display. Man's possessed friend, a dog named Bubba. And they don't have Slim the Clown on display. So we found at least three animations that they have for sale that are not on display. They also don't have this bowling pin guy on display. And they don't have this eternal rest on display. I can't remember if I saw that somewhere or not. They also have a stuffed dummy prop, so then you can put your own clothes on it. Pumpkin carving kits. Anyway, we will see you soon at our haunted houses. And make sure you visit your local uh, Spirit store, Johnny Brock's. And look at this. This would be cool. See, it's got candy corns and you put candy in there. It says head snaps up to shock. So this is a scare animation. Yeah, I wouldn't mind having that one. That would be great for your porch. Until then, folks, we'll see you at the haunted houses. Happy Halloween!